a true experimental design is a research method used to establish cause and effect relationships by manipulating an independent variable and measuring its effect on a dependent variable. This type of study follows strict procedures, including random assignment of participants and the use of control and experimental groups. True experimental designs aim to eliminate bias and confounding variables, making them one of the most reliable methods for testing hypotheses in scientific research. Because of their ability to demonstrate causal relationships, they are widely used in psychology, medicine and education. Now let's look at some key characteristics of true experimental design. True experimental design has several defining characteristics that ensure its reliability and validity. One key feature is random assignment, where participants are placed into groups by chance to reduce bias. Another characteristic is the presence of control and experimental groups, allowing researchers to compare the effects of the independent variable. True experiments also follow strict control over variables, ensuring that external factors do not influence results. Additionally, these studies use objective measurement techniques, such as standardised tests or scientific instruments, to ensure accuracy and replicability. Now let's examine some strengths of true experimental design. One major strength of true experimental design is that it provides the highest level of internal validity, meaning researchers can confidently determine cause and effect relationships. Because of random assignment, the influence of bias and confounding variables is minimised, making results more reliable. Another advantage is that these experiments are highly replicable, allowing other researchers to repeat the study to verify findings. Additionally, true experimental design allows for precise control over variables, reducing uncertainty and making conclusions more accurate. Because of these strengths, this method is widely regarded as the gold standard in scientific research. Now let's explore some limitations of true experimental design. Despite its advantages, true experimental design has some limitations. One major challenge is that these experiments are often time-consuming and expensive, as they require careful planning, participant recruitment, and controlled environments. Another issue is that strict control over variables can sometimes make the research less applicable to real-world settings, reducing external validity. Additionally, ethical concerns may arise if participants are exposed to potentially harmful or stressful conditions. While true experimental design is highly effective for determining causation, these challenges can make it difficult to conduct in certain fields of research. Now let's consider an alternative to true experimental design. An alternative to true experimental design is quasi-experimental design, which also investigates cause and effect relationships but does not use random assignment. This method is useful when random assignment is impractical or unethical, such as in studies involving pre-existing groups. Another alternative is correlational research, which examines relationships between variables without manipulation, making it useful for studying naturally occurring behaviours. Longitudinal studies can also provide insights into changes over time without requiring strict experimental controls. While these methods do not offer the same level of internal validity as true experiments, they provide valuable insights in situations where controlled experiments are not feasible.